Hey guys, it's that time again. Time to start your own music while I unbox some packages. And well, there's one I want to start with because I'm doing some new stuff in my studio and one of those things is that this guy has been replaced. This used to be an IP camera, but well, you saw the previous Quinn box. I had issues with desyncs and stuff like that. So I bought a different camera and while well, this is the first time trying out that setup, it's it's a bit, you know, how are you doing? But I'm planning on improving that and most of the components will come through a queen box in time. So let's uh, get right to the first package because that is well torn open, of course, a HDMI video capture. And I currently don't have um, a live view of the top cam, so I really hope it's in focus and it's like on the screen. Uh, but recently these little things have surfaced in China, of course, where else? On AliExpress. And this is a little video capturing dongle. So you have H uh, USB 2 on one side and then you have HDMI in on the other side. And I already have one of these, an Elgato 4K30. This one is USB 2, so it only does 4K, uh, 1080p, 30. But for like 9 or 10 bucks, if you ever have anything HDMI you need to get in your computer, yeah, I, I really suggest to check it out. I've, I've read really good things about this one. So, yeah. I have more capture cards coming because I can't go down from 4K. Everything needs to stay 4K, but... Later, later, or later, they're uh, back ordered, so. Let's see what this is. It says cable. Okay. Oh, that's right. I ordered a. Oh, they have a staple in there. Okay. I ordered a wireless charger, which then comes with a single plug, which, well, I ripped it open, so here it is. And this one is from a random brand, or it's not a wireless, it's one of those magnetic chargers. And I ordered a micro USB tip because I have a wireless mouse and, well, I'd like to be able to charge it uh, easily by just, you know, hooking up the cable. So I'm going to see if this fits in the port of the mouse and then uh, I can just charge it magnetically like this. Okay. Uh, Icy. Icy is always good. Never know what's in there. Nope. Needs more cutting. Okay, it needs scissors. Okay, what's this? Ah! These are SMD polyfuses. So, on the new Queen LED Dig Quad, I've shown you that before, I use a polyfuse for the onboard electronics. And well, I have to order those. So these finally came in, so I can continue my testing of those. Well, I already have a different set, but I like to test different brands and then know which one I put up on my queenled.info website. So I know you guys get the items that actually work with the board. So yeah, okay, chip. Yes, chip, chips are always good. I like chips. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, well, this is uh, taking us straight to Christmas. Uh, if you've seen my Christmas tree LED videos of last year, I had about 200, 250, I don't remember exactly, LEDs of these tiny, tiny, tiny LEDs in there. I'm not going to unwrap it now. Um, but this year we're getting a different Christmas tree and, well, we needed some more. And since we have a sort of uh, import restriction limit where you have to pay import taxes and uh, fees, I generally just order one or two and have them ship it out. And then I order one or two again. And then I order one or two again to kind of bypass that limit. And well, that's what these are for. So if you haven't seen those Christmas tree videos, I'll, uh, I'll link them. And Go check that out because it's really cool. Addressable LEDs in a Christmas tree and you can't really see the LEDs. It's really, really nice. 
Um, integrated circuits. I'll start with my scissors because I can feel them. What are these? Ah, yes. Okay. So I use the D1 Mini and the D1 Mini ESP32 variant a lot. So I ordered um, some different shields to test if those still work, if it's connected to a Quinn LED Dig Uno or a Quinn LED Dig Quad. And these are some micro, uh, as, or is it micro? No, yeah, micro SD card shields. So you can connect those to your ESP and then you can read an SD card, which might be uh, getting more important in the future now that WLED is adapting a file system and for other stuff you can use it too. Okay, I'll be testing that. It's probably gonna become an article, not really a dedicated video. Too many video topics, really. We'll see, we'll see. Um, this one says nothing. Okay, that's always risky to unpack, I guess. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, <laughs> this isn't for me. <laughs> yeah, so uh, my girlfriend has feet and she wanted, uh, she probably read this somewhere online, foot mask. Yeah, I'm not sure what to say. Oh, what does it all do? If you suffer from dull, dull skin or dead skin or cracked heel, get soft feet. This foot mat removes cuticles, dead cells, calluses and restores your plump, elastic, smooth, radiant and soft feet. Get soft and smooth feet in just one to two weeks. Well, uh, yeah, well, okay. I'll get just give this to her <laughs> okay let's see what this is chip yes chip oh well <laughs> well we already talked about these these are just uh well more of those more leds for in the christmas tree okay i've been really wondering what's in here because i have no idea it says mesh sieve See, yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on. Still don't know. What is it? Ah, okay. Well, as you know, I do uh, I do soldering in my garage here. Oh well, wow. okay. There we go. And so this is an I believe an activated carbon pad, so I can blow the fumes through this thing and that should filter out some of the toxic stuff making it well <laughs> better for me to breathe basically cool okay i'm not sure how i'm going to do that yet i'm thinking about maybe 3d printing something and then using a computer fan but i just wanted to have make sure i had the pads at least to do something like that oh well, so of course i got a bunch so yeah Cool, cool. Okay, let's see what we have. We have two packages left, and both say adapter. Hmm, I wonder what uh, what adapter means. Okay. Oh, this doesn't really say anything yet. What's this? Capacitors, 330 NF. Oh, okay, yeah. I need those for my Quinn LED Dig quad board. And up until now, I've been using uh, one of these little books. And uh, these have, it's all 0805, so it's all the same size, but then it's like 10R, 33R, all kinds of resistor values, 200 ohm, 1K ohm, uh, 1500, or for instance, um, 4K, oh, actually 4K7 isn't in here, but 4K3 for, if you're doing a temperature sensor, uh, 10K I use a lot. But there's basically all kinds of different values in here, and it also has different value capacitors, like the 330, and um, I've been using that one, it's this one for my prototyping, and I only had one little strip like this, so I was like, okay, Let's uh, order a whole bunch of those so that I'm not going to miss out when I need to build more boards. Cool. Well, 
last package already. I guess this is going to be a short episode. I'm still working on a lot of doorbell stuff and other project behind the scenes, so lots of stuff upcoming. But yep, yeah, the scooter project's almost finished. Let's see. Okay, well, we have another. Ah, more poly fuses. As I've explained before, most often when I order something, especially if it's like one or two dollar stuff, I order it from mostly two shops at the same time and maybe slightly different versions to see how well those do when I use them myself and what I can recommend to you guys. Cool. Okay. Resettable fuse. 8 volt, 750 milliamps. Yeah, exactly what I ordered. Cool. Well, that's already been it for this Quinn box. I have lots of stuff on the way. There was a sale recently, so I ordered more stuff. Um, yeah, well, more in the in upcoming videos. And as I said, I'm going to work on my uh, my studio here and kind of integrate more stuff and update it uh, with a, like an actual real camera now. And uh, I'm going to plan on doing things with HDMI capture. There might be a PC build in the future coming up. Um, yeah, lots of exci exciting stuff coming. Too little time. So, thanks for watching again. As always, links for all the stuff you saw in here is in the description. And I hope to see you guys back next time. Bye-bye.